There is currently an academic arms race in the AI space, and there are tons of different kind of companies and individuals who are trying to make AI tools for academics, research, and just for anyone that wants really complicated information distilled down into nice little bite-sized pieces. Um, yum, yum, yum. So let's have a look at the best of them. The first one is this one, the Humata, Humata. Humata.ai, however you wish to say it. Ask AI anything about your file. So let's just log in. Did I log in? Yes, here we are. I already signed up for ease. So here, welcome to Humata. Please click here or drag or drop a PDF to get started. So let's have a quick look at uploading some of my papers, my past papers that I am so very, very proud of. Um, and here we are, let's go to this one. A multi-layered approach to polyfluorine water-based organic photovoltaics. There we are, one of my first ever papers from my PhD. Let's ask it some questions. So ask about this document. Um, what did they find out? Not my uh, most uh, eloquent of questions, but a question nonetheless. Let's find out what happens, dot, dot, dot. Still dot, dot, dot. Any time, any moment now, any moment, we're gonna get away from the dot, dot, dot. They're animated nicely, if nothing else. Oh, here we are. Good, okay. They found out that the power conversion efficiency and quantum eternal efficiency, uh, external quantum efficiency values for the devices fabricated from blah, 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 significantly higher than those previously reported. They also found that the PCE and EQE values comparable to those of that blend device and significantly greater than those presented previously for, okay. Look, it's quite complicated, isn't it? I mean, it's done a good job. It's really kind of presented it in a very academic way. So let's try another question. Um, uh, what, are the main applications of this paper. Let's see what it has, dot, dot, dot. I'm sure we're in for a wait. What should we have, a cup of tea? I've got an empty water glass. We can just wait around a bit, I guess. Okay, we're back. The main application of the paper is to demonstrate the potential multi-layer nanocouple films for the fabrication of efficient organic blah, blah, blah. The paper provides a comparison to the device, device characteristics. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, I guess. Okay, they've actually not mentioned, look, in the abstract down here, this work offers insights for the development of printable photovoltaic devices. I've not seen printable. Now we have to be very careful, don't we? Because here, it didn't min mention anything about printable solar cells. So um, we have to read the abstract. We cannot rely on this tool at least to give us everything we need to know. Um, okay, let's go on to the next one. Paper brain, paper brain is another one. Exploring your study papers, study papers. Nonetheless, let's carry on. Has never been easier. Let's start reading. Okay, that's a look. We got you covered. So, uh, what am I? What am I looking for? Research papers. I sure am. I'm sure am. Let's look for photovoltaic devices. Oh, I've destroyed that spelling. Uh, let's have a look for organic photovoltaic devices. Let's have a little look. Let's see what it's got for me. Come on, loading, we got load and, all right, we've got some, we've got some, that's good. Let's just go to this top one. Why not? Let's just continue reading this. Um, detecting triplet states in optoelectronic and photo photovoltaic materials and devices. Okay, good, yeah, uh, it, it, fine, I guess. I mean, it has given me organic photovoltaic devices. Let's try this one, uh, viewers PDF. Okay, here we are, it's loading the PDF, nice. Um, let's try to ask it some questions once it's loaded. Is it just my internet? Is it just my internet that's this slow? Okay, um, energy level diagram, so let's have a look. What, what are the main conclusions? Okay, what are the main conclusions? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You had one job, you had one job. I don't think that's a difficult question. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, what, what is this paper about? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't do that. Let's, <laughs> 
Let's see if it's better with one that I upload. All right, let's upload upload some, some files. Uh, let's go to planar silver nanowire and carbon nanotube. Let's try <laughs> with one of my documents. Wow, brilliant. You've you've done it again, paper brain dot study. Um, okay, so here we've got this. Uh, this is one of my papers about using silver nanowires and carbon nanotubes as transparent electrodes. Look how many authors are on there, that's ridiculous. Some of them did nothing. Anyway, um, what what is this paper about? Come on, you, you, gotta, you gotta give me something. Okay, we've got a little ding dong thing going on, a little circular, whatever. Um, let's, okay, waiting, waiting again. I don't mind waiting. As long as it gives me the answer, I don't mind waiting. Sorry, I don't understand. Really? All right, I'm done with you. Sorry, paper brain. Let's try another one. This one's called Explain Paper. So here we can highlight confusing text and get an explanation. Great, let's try that. Let's get ourselves one of my papers. Let's try a pathway to high throughput, low cost, Indian free transparent electrodes. Mm, what a beautiful title. Highlight text and have an AI explain it. I will, I will just do that. Let's have a look, let's, let's try to find something uh, a little bit annoying. Let's go to experimental. Let's have a look. Um, let's go here. Sheet resistant. Okay, I don't understand what sheet resistance means. So let's let's highlight that. Sheet resistance measurements were performed using the four point probe technique. Okay, fine. I mean, it's, it's like a very simple kind of like uh, response, but I guess it could help you. It could help you. Oh, look at that beautiful diagram. I did that in Word, by the way. Uh, try to beat that in any of your fancy uh, uh, design software. Let's try roll to roll, R to R. Does that understand what R to R compatible is? It's roll to roll. Good, okay, so it's actually extended, expanded the abbreviations, which is very helpful. Okay, this is, this is good. This is good, explainpaper.com. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. All right, let's carry on. Oh, look at these beautiful conductive AFM. Those took hours, those did. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, Raman, okay, what the hell is Raman microscopy? Let's have a look. Let's see what this is. So highlight, is it gonna give me something useful? Yeah, okay, fine. Once again, little bit, it will ask a follow-up question, let's do that. How does Raman microscopy work? I wanna visualize, I wanna visualize it. I wanna know exactly what it looks like. I could go to Google, okay. Raman microscopy is a technique that uses light to excite, ooh, excite molecules in the same and in the sample and measure the scattered light. I'm getting excited, calm down, stapes. This allows researchers to identify different components such as that. Okay, it, it helps. So it you can delve deeper, which I like. Let's go on to the next one. I found this one. Uh, this is just like a dude who is making things. So thank you very much, uh, Jesse uh, Sang. This is where he just, puts projects, brilliant. So let's just try out some of his projects then. This one, type any topic and then you can ask about it using this bit here, which is great. So let's just see if you can actually do that, hey? Let's uh, go in and let's type in, uh, I'm fed up of my research, let's have a look. Highly reflective mirrors. Highly reflective mirrors, here we are. Let's see what it has to say about heart. This was one of my last postdoc positions and I wasn't really mm, into the, the field, but maybe using this, I can sort of like bubble up some excitement again. Let's have a little bit of a look. So it gets the 10 most relevant papers, love that. And then it says it is feeding and indexing all of the uh, stuff. And now sadly the limits, are. oh. oh. Okay, sadly we've hit the limits of open API. Please try again. Let's just try the, one of his ones. Let's try AI transformers and let's see what happens. Okay, it's free, but of course you have to use your own API key because otherwise you can uh, use his and uh, it doesn't work. So here, AI transformers. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what AI transformers is. So here, you can see that you can index all documents and then successfully index all papers ready to answer questions. Okay, well what is AI transformers? The future of AI is patience. AI transformers are technology applications that have potential, it's got citations. Oh, you can click on the citations, that's nice. That's nice, I like that. 
okay, you could use this tool if you just wanted a quick snapshot of a particular field, good for literature reviews. Um, and just be careful because it is free. This guy's providing it for free. So if you go on there, you may face an issue with the API thing. Not a problem. Put your own API key in and you can use it. But um, yeah, okay, let's move on. There's another one you can use. I don't know about you, but sometimes I uh, just get confused and I just need a simple explanation of something. So here are a couple of options for you. The first one is teachanything.com or teach-anything.com. And I like this because you can ask a question, select your language, select difficulty and ask it. So there's this thing in solar cells I've never, never really quite understood and that's up conversion. So let's have a look to see what's going on. So, okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look to see what it says in in, in English, easy. Up conversion is a process where light energy is changed into a higher energy form. For example, you can have a flashlight, it will light up a room, but if you have a solar cell, it can take the same light energy and turn into electricity with... Okay, not great, not great. Up conversion, one word. Let's try the one word version. If you have a special type of cell, it can take that low energy and turn it into a higher energy form that can be used to power... Okay, so... It's, let's, let's try profession. Profession? Professional, I, I assume that means. Let's try this. The answer is up conversion in photovoltaic process in which two or more lower energy photons are converted. Okay, so for a PhD level, university level person, the professional level is far more useful um, and uh, you can obviously understand it because uh, I assume easy is meant for a child or someone who is very, very drunk. So here, I like it. How do you become famous on YouTube? Professional, I'm a professional. Print uh, requires unique, engaging, and high quality content that resonates with the viewers. Additionally, you must use effective marketing and promotional tactics in order to build and gain recognition. Uh, like, like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right, the last one that I think you should know about is Experi, 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 they're running out of names. They are running out of names for these AI tools. We've used them all. So this is expert AI. So it's about using AI as an expert that you can ask questions to. So good if you're researching a new area or you don't quite understand what's going on in your own life, maybe. Um, here we are. What experts are you looking for? I am looking for um, a solar cell expert. Let's see what they have to offer. Start chatting. Calling expert. I hope I'm not annoying a real person. I'm led to believe this is AI. All right. Hi, I'm Dr. Solar. Hello, Dr. Solar. A solar cell expert passionate about renewable... Well, nice to meet you. Let's, let's just say nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are they a nice person? Are they a nice... Nice to meet you too. I'm excited to learn more. All right, he just wants to get to the point. All right, no worries, doesn't want small talk. Like a real academic, no problem. Let's get into it. So uh, I want to know, what do I want to know about solar cells? Oh, what are the different types of research solar cells? It's, I, I don't even know that's a proper question, but let's... Uh, Let's, let's see what it comes up with. Come on, expert. There are several types of solar cells that can be used for research. These include monocrystalline, polycrystalline, thin film. Okay, give me a th thin film. I'm not quite sure. Thin film. Oh, I'm not even in the box. There we are. Thin film uh, solar cells. Uh, what types are there? Question mark. Not even a proper... S oh, let's get you signed up. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're back. Good. We didn't have to do anything crazy. We're back. Thin film solar cells comes in various blah blah. You can kind of sort of like start asking questions as if you were sat down with your supervisor. But once again, you have to take all of this with a grain of salt, don't you? Um, and here, I feel like it's great if you're entering a new field you can kind of feel around the edges a little bit and work out what is good for you what works what doesn't and kind of start delving a little bit deeper so uh yeah there we are expert ai if you need a little explanation of something i think it's great okay um thank you that will be all you're welcome
If you have any other questions about solar cells or their components, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always happy to help. That is very nice. So there we have it. There are the new free academic tools that I think you should be aware of at least. Some of them work better than others. And every time I use AI, I have to be careful not to just take what they say as gospel. And I do need to, you know, read the abstract of the paper. I do need to delve a little deeper, but it's a great tool and can help you when you're just not sure where to start and you just need to start somewhere. So have a look at these tools, see if they can fit into your kind of like research process. Let me know in the comments which ones uh, really help you and if there's others you'd like for me to look at. So um, that said, now there's more ways you can interact with me, a real person, not AI. First way is head over and sign up to my newsletter. That says andrewstapleton.com.au forward slash newsletter. The link is in the description. And when you sign up, you'll get five emails over about two weeks from the podcast I've been on, how to write the perfect abstract and more it's exclusive content available for free. So go sign up and head over and check out academiainsider.com. That's my project where I've got my two ebooks the Ultimate Academic Writing Toolkit, PhD Survival Guide, my Insider Forum, a blog that's growing out as well, that is all about making sure academia works for you. So I'll see you over there. All right then, I'll see you in the next video.